in the 1980s, during the period when a cover-up of child abuse by politicians and senior establishment figures is alleged to have taken place. Meanwhile, a police officer who investigated paedophile activity at the time says he found numerous documents linking abuse to members of the establishment. Matt Proger reports. To interview you about your lifetime of sexual involvement with young boys. I'm not this is like Peter Wrighton, academic, well, childcare expert, and exposed truth. by the BBC 20 years ago as a paedophile. We have evidence that suggests that you have abused your position of power, that you have abused your position of trust, that you have betrayed colleagues. Before he died, he was convicted of importing child pornography. But a detective on that investigation says it also found evidence he was part of a powerful network of child abusers who corresponded with one another. There were several bags. There was, there was about four or five suitcases of material under the bed. Um, when we started to go through it, it, it was in probably, I would say, between four and six large bin liners equivalent of, of, of documentation letters. And in amongst all the other documentation, there was a definite link to establishment figures. Uh, I can't say more than that at this point, but there was definitely a link to establishment figures, including senior members of the clergy. Today, a man who counts himself as one of Wrighton's victims spoke to the BBC. He was in care when he says he was passed from one abuser to another. When I was being taken to places where you, I knew things were bad things were going to happen, you'd think... Might, I might see someone I recognise, I might be able to call out for help or, or say something. I never did. Um, you'd sort of wish you were somewhere else. You'd wish that someone would come and rescue you. 